Yeah, you can start recording. Is it recording? Check, check, check. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, we're about to get started. All right. Oh, okay. You guys going to heaven? Yeah? Tell me about it. We'd like to hear about it. Let's hear good word. We're doing a salvation survey. So we like okay. to ask people Based some questions. Okay. Yeah, so it's five questions. What's your name? Harry. Harry? All right, so this is the first one. What's your position on God? God exists. Okay. Right. All right, yeah, all right. And then is God pleased with your lifestyle, Harry? Well, we all are sinners, right? Yeah. So we all got to do our best and um, okay. according to what the scripture says, right? Yeah. Be a yeah. righteous person, right? Okay, good. Okay, all right. And is the King James Bible God's word? Uh, King James is not the only version of the Bible, but it is definitely a good translation. Is God's word or yeah, no? Yeah, okay. oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, we just want to make sure we have his word. Are you sure you go to heaven when you die? That's what the scripture says, right? Yeah, yeah, All right. Just, okay. Good. All right, and then why should God let you into heaven, Harry? Well, he's not, he's not really, uh, he lets us in because we're, we're accepting him as his son, as Lord and Savior, right? Uh-huh. So it's not, it's not really, it's, it's his grace, okay. right, that okay. he's given it to us. It's okay. a gift to us, right? Yeah. It's not what we're doing. Uh -huh. It's what he's done for us. Okay. So You got it right. Awesome. Boom. Good stuff, Harry. Right. Appreciate it, man. Good work. Yeah, like thank it. you. I like it. All right, share that gospel with people, man. God bless you. All right, who wants to take the salvation survey? Come on over here, man. They, re they recruited you. You don't want to be in on it? All right. Yeah, he has to be in What's your name? Ivan. Ivan? Yes, All right. Sir. Cool. Kale. Hey, we're doing five questions. All right. What's your good. position on God? In what way? Well, I mean, who is he? Um, someone who watches over us, I guess, takes care of us. Okay. Does he have a name or anything? Or did you call well, him? God. God? Okay. <laughs> all right. Second question. Is God pleased with your lifestyle? I believe so. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Three more. Is right. the King James Bible God's word? I don't know what that is. You know, the Bible? Oh, I don't, I don't know if the KJ. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's the one that's been around the longest for oh, us. Okay. Yeah, so that's why we asked that one. It's not all these new translations. Okay. All right, the third, the fourth one. Mm. Are you sure you go to heaven when you die? 100%, 50%, 75%? 87? 87. How do you come up with 87? I don't pretty, know. He's pretty precise. All right. Yeah. Let's go with that one. <laughs> First time I heard that. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, 50 or? What are you, an accountant or something? Math major? No, I'm tired. Okay, know. yeah, all right, no, cool. And then last one, why should God let you into heaven? Uh, I consider myself a helpful person to serve others. Uh -huh. So right, I'm trying to do like a fire academy and I'm trying to like help other people out. So. Trying to help people. Okay. Yeah. Would you know, would you like to know, so you're done with the survey. Yes. Would you like to know how you can know 100% sure? That yeah. you can go into heaven. One thirteen percent more sure, yeah. Yeah, thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to get that thirteen percent because you don't want to get there on judgment day and find out. Oh man, I, I fell short. Yeah. I wanted... All right. On the back of here is the answers. Okay. All right. So these are the four segments. The first segment has scripture verses. That's why we asked that you believe the King James Bible because these come from the King James Bible. It tells us that man is a sinner. So. You, you have to admit that we, you sin, oh, right? Yeah. Say all, all we like sheep have gone astray. So I'm not saying you a sinner and I'm not. We all have gone astray. Sure. We have turned everyone his own way and the Lord hath laid on him, which is Jesus, the iniquity of us all. So he carried the sins for everyone. So we've heard that before, right? Yeah. There's a price for our sins and that's eternal death in hell. See, because we sin, the Bible tells us for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. So you can have eternal life. That means you don't have to die spiritually. Your physical body will die, but your spirit will live on. And that's how we can get eternal life is through who? Jesus Christ. So you were talking about your good works, and you're probably a good guy, but your good works, remember, have fallen short. See, when you when you stand before God, he's gonna see those sins that I don't know about. You know? And that he doesn't know about. It. That's that 13% that you hold okay. down. <laughs> but Jesus said, I got you covered 100%. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Now we're at the, for the fourth one. Jesus paid the price by dying on the cross, shedding his blood. Christ was buried and rose again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, that's anyone, that believeth. See, that's the word, believe. So you just have to believe in him 
should not perish but have everlasting life. That's a promise, should not perish. Oh, my So this is God's word promise to you if you believe on him instead of believing on yourself. Mm -hmm. See, you're trusting on your, your goodness and you're a good guy, but that won't get you into heaven. So God is saying, stop trusting on yourself and trust on the sacrifice that I made on the cross. All right? Mm -hmm. And then this is the last one. By faith in Jesus Christ alone, we can be saved. Does that make sense? And it says, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, because we're, we're born spiritually dead. We're physically alive, but our spirit is separated from God. Yet shall he live. That's another promise. So you won't, in here, you won't, whosoever believe in him should not perish. You're not going to perish and you're going to live. So do you understand that simple message that we're trying to preach? It's just believe on believe, Jesus yeah. and not believe on yourself. You think you can believe on Jesus? Of course, I already believe in you. But you didn't, you didn't, well, you didn't <clears throat> confess Jesus when I asked you why should he let you into heaven? You oh, confess okay. yourself. So it shows where you really were put, placing your belief in. Okay. So I'm, I'm talking about the core of your belief in your heart. See, the Bible tells us that from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And that's why we ask why. When you ask somebody why, they explain what they really believe. Okay. See, so I'm, I'm trying to convince you to really believe on Christ. So do you really believe after reading, after seeing what the Bible says? That's why we ask, do you believe it's God's word? Because this is not my word, this is what God wrote to you mm. and to all of us. So if, if you believe that this is God's word and this is what he's saying, whenever something's written down, it's legally binding, so on Judgment Day, you can say, well, God, you wrote it in your word. You know what I'm saying? It's binding, right? Yeah. So do you trust his word to I say, I trust on Christ to save me? All right. So that last question again. Now, what's your name again? Ivan. Ivan. Okay. Ivan, why should God let you in the heaven? Because I believe in him and I trust in his word. Amen. In Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. And that's what we're sharing out here, man. I appreciate you right, taking Tom. the survey, man. God bless you, man. I'll be praying for you. All right, Ivan. Thank you. All right.